Hey guys from Pico de Gallo, I'm Ravi and today I have an unboxing of a great product out there. For all the coffee lovers, I'm going to unbox my Bialetti brand new and red uh, Mocha Express. It's uh, three cups and uh, I'm really excited about this. If you follow me on social media, um, let me just mute this. Um, you probably saw that I had a previous one, but it was not this brand, it was another one. And it kind of melted because I left it on the stove because I wanted it to actually dry out because I was going to travel and I was packing my, my stuff, right? So I forgot it and I have always say, said to my friends or family members or people that use the machine like do not put it like in the center of the stove because it has this um, handle here which is plastic and you have to be careful with it so you have to put it like on the edge which I did but I left it there like for half an hour imagine and then it started to smell funny and I'm like oh my god my mother express so I have bought a new one from Balietti Bialetti I said Balietti I don't know what I said Bialetti so this is um, the Italian one the, the, the number one and the original one so um, let's unbox together okay so I just got it today at work and I just brought it home and I haven't opened it okay so it says here since 1919 so imagine a hundred years we're in 2019 now so that's good huh it's three cups and the color is red let's see what does it say here um where's the english version so i can read it to you it says the italian coffee excellence in 1933 alfonso bialetti with his invention of, with his invention of mocha express transformed the art of preparing coffee into an exclusive Italian ritual with a scent of home. So it says 1933 here, but here it says since 1919. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, so this is the, the box and it makes amazing, amazing coffee. So if you don't have one of these, I definitely recommend having one. So let's try to open it. And look at this. See there? Yeah. So it has like whatever this feelings. Uh, I see also here like an uh, instructional manual. Here we go. We will go over it. And here is what we're looking for. That's it. Nothing else. Oh my god, look at this. It's so cute. I already see the red color in it. Look at that. Wow, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Look at that. I love it. Look at the color, the structure. Let's see the inside. Oh, it has something there. We'll see what it is. Look at that. You see, it's like a mirror inside, isn't it? It's amazing. amazing. I just love it. Just love it. It says, what does it say here? Italian quality and design, it says here. All right, let, let me see what this is about, what does it say? Um, that it has in a lot of languages. Where is the English one? Uh, it says, unlike the standard unpainted aluminum mochas, yeah, but normally they're like this color and this one is red. So I don't know if there's something special about it. Your coffee marker, marker or maker? whatever 
has a special paint finish that must be protected by closely adhering to the following recommendations. Always use a lot, always use a lot flame to avoid burning the sides of the boiler. Remove the coffee, it says marker, but why marker? Maker, I would say. From the heat as soon as the coffee collects in the upper container. Do not use steel wools or abrasive products. Okay. Um, when I'm, I want to read in Spanish to see what that marker is about. Um, doesn't say anything. Okay. But what it's saying is that when you put it on the stove, if you have like a flame um, um, stove, the flame has to be inside this, not outside here. So you have to put it like low or whatever, to just measure it and put it like not bigger than the base, right? It looks beautiful. I love this Italian guy there. Do you see it with the mustache? It's really funny, huh? So let's open this. And oh, wow, this is odd that it's kind of there. Okay, so this is where you put your coffee the water reservoir here until the safety valve here and you have to always kind of like push it and pull it just to make sure it is working because you can have um what do you call this um cult deposits i don't know if that's the word in english and these are the filters and the gasket here. So this is it. Uh, let's see the instructions over here because I know some things. Oh my god, this is like Ikea that has a bunch of things here. How can you have so many instructions for this? Like a newspaper, huh? Oh, okay, so it has like tons of languages here. Netherlands, Finnish, Romania, where's the English one? Some Asian ones. Italian, English, here it says. Okay, so it's just, so each column is, you know, one language, so it's not that difficult. Let's see any recommendations that we might have here. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, instructions for use when using the coffee maker here, sir, here it says maker not marker for the first time wash it thoroughly with the water and make at least three cups of coffee discarding them do not drink them that's very important to yeah so, so it can get a bit let's say dirty and you don't taste the aluminum and that's why you don't have to wash it with soap and um, what was the word that they use here? Abrasive, or what? Yeah, abrasive steel wools and abrasive products. So don't use that because you can scratch the aluminum and you could taste that. One one time I did. Um, the lady that helps us at home, and I could taste it without knowing that she actually washed it. You know, like with soap and. Um, um, what was the word again? <laughs> Steel wools. What's the word? Burn. So where was I? So three cups first. Three times, right? Yeah, and discard them. So I won't be doing that right now because it takes a time. So I'll I probably do another video on how to use this one. Um, but I want to taste it, of course. So I'll do offline the, the three times. So it can, you know, start getting there a bit dirty and, and make a very good coffee. 
Um, check the coffee maker is complete with all its components and it's properly positioned as shown in the figure. Check the coffee maker is complete with valve, funnel filter, the gasket seal and filter plate. And um, that these parts are in the correct position. Yeah, they're yeah, it's pretty easy. Here it says how to make the coffee because I've seen a lot of things there uh, in, on YouTube. Whether you should use cold water or warm water since the beginning. I have always used cold water because for me it makes sense. But there's some videos over there on YouTube that says like use a hot water or warm water so you don't burn the coffee that it's not there on the stove you know with excessive heat here it says fill the heater unit with cold water there you go so now we know how to use it and um, and do not pile it says to do not um, what's the word in English um, do not press the, the coffee in the filter. That I already know and there's no, um, what do you call it? Um, I mean, the, everybody says the same, so. Uh, this is too complicated, I'm just going to put it here out of sight. So guys, this is it. So. Here's where you put the coffee in and the water will go up through the filter here, the second filter here, and it will come out from here. And it's gorgeous. If you don't have one, get one. Go to your, um, I don't know, your preferred online search engine, buying method, whatever. I don't want, you know, Amazon or whatever and get one of this. It makes a very decadent coffee, right? So follow me on my Instagram, which is uh, Pico de Gallo TV. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below and stay tuned for more videos. Please give me some love, some thumbs up, all right? And share the video. See you next time.